Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. We got ourselves an unboxing. Actually, this is the Fragrant Bunker because we got ourselves a little perfume moment here. Oh, yes we do. Yes, we do. But first, subscribe to my channel here on the tubes. And uh, you can also join me on Patreon, Super Deco Ball Spelled Together for extra perks. Thank you to all my patrons who have pledged. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday from my main Super Deco channel. And uh, I would like to invite you all to join me there for every live stream because I also film my perfume videos over there. So uh, you get to partake in the live chat. So let me cue in the live chats. Hi, everybody. <laughs> We'll go, we'll go. Listen. Uh, there's a lot to go through here. Um, but I'm going to make it painless in terms of... Such a big bag for such a little thing. <laughs> mm. Now, this is a special thing that I always tell people. What? Ah! Oh! Thank you for buying the merch, you guys. Anonymous bought an accessory pouch. Thank you so much. I'm also wearing the Super Deco The Journey merch. You can get my brand new merch out now on my website, in my shop, www.superdeco.com to get your merch. You can also get it on Amazon in certain countries. You can follow the link under my video to get the merch now. now if you go to a Chanel Beauty Boutique in particular, they should have these, especially for a certain occasion. And the occasion is trying out their pure perfumes, their extras. And so what happens is you pull this little, let me, let me zoom this in so you get to see this prop, properly. All right. So it's the Perfume Me with Chanel. These are made in Spain, coincidentally. <laughs> then you open this up. And you pull this out. Turn it around and you flip it upside down. Where is it? Over there. There you go. You pull it out. It's a little ceramic stick, which is on the edges, it's glossy. And in the center where it says Chanel, it is mattified. Okay, I can zoom out. And porous. So what you do is when you go to Chanel and you ask them for one of these, you want to stick it inside of the parfum so that the porous part absorbs the perfume and it's going to maintain the smell for a long time. It's I got mine two days ago. It still smells divine. But the more lucid part of it doesn't absorb the perfume. That's why it has the glossy finish. That part is used to then, you know, wipe on your arm and then you get to experience the perfume. So these little sticks are awesome. I love them. Mm. Now this packaging was designed way before I'm, I'm reading the comments. Yeah, the, the COVID this, um, this packaging was designed way before the pandemic, just to let you guys know. And I think it's a beautiful design, frankly, because the paper, holds, you know, keeps the, the stick separated so it doesn't stick to the paper. So the smell is protected. I love this. So this is a freebie actually now, but what perfume is here? Well, I had to test out the perfume before purchasing it, right? You best believe. Bam. Here you go, guys. We got ourselves a 15 mil Sycamore. Release date was the 1st of September. Some countries got a little bit sooner or later. Um, 
This was on the stick, Debs. Sycamore. Sick o mo. Sick o mo. Yes. Oh, um, Abiograf says your makeup is stunning, so simple, but makes you look so soft. Thank you so much. So kind of you. Um, we're gonna open it. And this is a moment. Okay, let me zoom that in. Let me see what it's like. Very. Ah! It's the birth of a perfume. Oh my gosh. I love these unboxing moments of Chanel, you know. Because you know. Okay, let me zoom it in. Oh, you guys. Man, I'm going to have to step to the center. Okay, so let's hope it stays focused. It's probably not. Okay. Okay, there it is. And let's pull it out. So we got ourselves a 15 mil Sycamore Parfum. The batch code is 7601, right there. So this is the first batch. Maybe there's a slightly younger version if they had it, you know, for Paris sooner than for world distribution. But this is kind of the first batch I could get my hands on. With the batrouchage, we have the wax seal with the double C logo in in the wax seal. Oh boy, what a special moment. Finally, Sycamore. Sycamore gets its parfum concentration, you guys. Now, for more detailed pictures of the bottle, go to my Instagram account dedicated to my Chanel collection called Dacob CC, all spelled together. I will showcase in detail photos of the bottle. But now, here comes the tricky part, the part that I always dread the most. I will cut through this and open it up. You have to cut it. There's no other way, you guys. You got to cut it. You have to cut this little tiny thing. You got to cut that seal off. The thread has to be cut. And then that little kind of... <laughs> the foreskin has to be taken. <laughs> this little kind of like onion peel skin has to be cut off. So we're going to do that together live. So let me zoom in. It's always tricky, but hold on. Don't do this at home, kids. Don't play with scissors. All right. Uh, so. Oh, it's so painful. I hate breaking the seal. But that's what we got to do, you know. This is such a this is such a vibe, you guys. To have one of these sealed, I almost don't want to open it. <laughs> um Bell says, I always find it so difficult to open the damn perfume bottles. Let the, because it doesn't, okay. So, it's not that difficult, Vel. I can show you. You just have to go in here. Hmm. Okay, let me go into the center. So, you have to, with your scissors, my gosh, filming frontally is really hard. You have to go through the side down here right there got it okay so we open this up So now this 
little neck part up there is free. Now we have the thread down there. But the, the thread down there is connected to the wax seal. Should be connected. Oh. Oh my God, it's always so scary. Okay. And got it. Now we're cutting through the bottom cord. Cha. There it is. Completely intact. The actual double C stamp is still there. The little wax seal is intact. Now, the next step that people usually don't think about, they just kind of try to pull the stopper open, but in reality, you still have that little skin in between. This kind of white sort of seal. We call it the onion skin. You see, it looks like mattified. It only looks mattified because there's that little seal around it. So we're going to peel that off. I would also say be very gentle. Um, you got to go with your scissors. Through the skin. You have to find the, the spot where it's connected. There it is. Okay, got it. So look at this. Right there. And now we're going to pull it. There it is. It took the little seal off, little skin moment. It looks like like an animal shed its skin, like a snake. You blow whatever residue is left, you blow it away. And now the moment of truth. Will it open or not? Because we all remember the tragedy of me trying to open up my Coromandel Parfum. That did not work, but fingers crossed it works now, you guys. It works like a charm. Okay, here goes. And oxygen. Ah. Hmm. And here we go. Unboxing and first impressions of Sycamore Parfum. You know I don't like the Eau de Parfum. I actually have here... I never bought the Eau de Parfum. I have a full bottle of... Well, I have several bottles. I, I stocked up when I heard that they were going to get discontinued. I have the Eau de Toilette. Um, you see, in the back it says Eau de Toilette, on the, on the back of the sticker. It's kind of hard to read because the liquid is so yellow. But And then I have several samples of the Eau de Parfum. And then we have the Parfum. Now, I don't like the Eau de Parfum. Never did. But I love the Eau de Toilette. And I gotta say, the Parfum thank God is closer to the Eau de Toilette than to the Eau de Parfum. Ah. <sighs> 
it's it's good now this is what i did uh in the beauty boutique because they had one open to test right so they gave me a little sticklet so I, you know, put this into the bottle. So this is drenched in sycamore parfum. Mm. It's good. The little ceramic stick does not lie. And neither does my skin. Oh my gosh, this thing is so beautiful. Of course, I'm going to make a designated review video just dedicated to sycamore parfum because this obviously needs time you know the bottle needs to breathe i need to collect my feelings uh, sticks don't lie love diy a oh, little rhyme how close says debbie it's closer to edt than edp but with less edge it's more rounded you know it's 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 a parfum so it's it's more you know chanel pure perfumes are never crazy in your face they're very close to the skin this thing is not a projection beast very intimate very subtle i guess many people are going to smell this and think Jeez Louise, this ain't worth the money. This smells so weak. <laughs> it's elegant though. It's elegant. Mm. I'm going to give it a proper review, um, but... I could not pass on, uh, you know, Sycamore Parfum, the first release. Listen, after I tested it with the stick and on my skin a couple of days ago before purchasing it, I, you know, I already knew I liked it, but I didn't, you know, it's not like this thing is groundbreaking, but I know myself and Chanel. When Chanel releases something concentrated like this and potentially limited because it might not sell a lot i buy the first batch just to have it archived to know what it's you know how many times do i look into the past and i think oh man imagine how it was to have the first edition of bois des Isles from the 20s or to have those chanel perfumes that are discontinued like 1946 the perfume number 46 or um you know glamour or jasmine all of those fragrances that chanel doesn't have anymore to be able to own those in an archive you know one day these might get discontinued too and i in my lifetime i'm always going to have a moment and know okay well this is actually how it was intended to smell because it's the first release after the second release you just don't know anymore are, are they going to tweak it change it mm. bell says the beauty of wearing the parfums is that you get to choose who around you gets to experience them exactly you they stay close to you only who comes really close and let me tell you this is the type of smell that um if you do allow someone to come close to you they're gonna want to stay attached to you at least for the night <laughs> That was an elegant way of saying it's a panty dropper, perhaps. <laughs> oh, it's really good. Um, now, of course, it's a parfum. Of course, it's a less exclusive. Of course, it costs more. But honestly, yeah. I'm crazy to say I think it's worth it, but I, I I think it's still worth it. Like maybe another price increase or two, and then it might not be worth it anymore. But it's still okay, in my humble opinion. Uh, what they ask for this, um, 
mind you, it's a pure perfume of all their fragrances. This is not the one that is mass produced. This this is this is not a mass produced fragrance. Okay, um, you're not going to see it everywhere. It's super rare. My beauty boutique got only three. And it's not like people are like, oh my God, let me buy it. Let me buy Nobody's buying. I'm, I'm the first person who bought it. Just saying. So it's not like this thing is going to be popping off the shelves. So they also know that. They, only, they also produced. It's a symbolic gesture. Releasing a perfume like this. This is not a money grabber. Let's be very clear. This is released for prestige reasons, you know, because they can. <laughs> so bear that in mind. This is not a mass release product, not at all. So obviously the day I went into the Chanel Beauty Boutique uh, was the day that they released the tweed eye palettes. And I wanted the tweed pouches. I saw them, they looked really flimsy and cheap, but then at this, you know, I was like, eh, mm. plus they cost way more than the other eye palettes. But then this little guy was standing, you know, that their tester was there and like in, in to the side. And I was like, oh my gosh, Sycamore Parfum is out. And they're like, oh yeah, Jacob, yeah, 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 it was released today. I'm like, let me sniff. And then fell in love. All over again, just like I fell in love with the Eau de Toilette. So, it's, it's, it's close to the price of the 75 ml bottles of the Eau de Parfums, right? Now, you might think, oh, it's much more liquid, but it's, it's, it's different. It smells different. So, you pay a bit more and you get this, but you're not going to use this. You're not going to spray this. You're going to be very tactile, you know, very how you use this. So this is going to last you longer probably than a spray version. Damn, it's good. <laughs> We're going to do a proper review. So I'm so happy that they released this. I hope they don't discontinue it anytime soon. Um, I will do a full blown review on it as well. So stay tuned for that. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Oh, this was an unboxing, almost like sort of a tutorial on how to open and cut through it. Um, also what is really interesting for those people who don't want to touch it with their fingers, you can use this sticklet for future, for application. So you know that this little stick is only for Sycamore. You don't mix this with other perfumes. And then you just tip, just the tip. Just a tip. You just make sure that you tip it in into the liquid, but only only the glossy part. Don't go too deep. Don't go into the, the, the mattified ceramic part because that's a sponge. It's going to kind of like absorb too much of the perfume. Just tip in the, 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 the tip and then smear that on your skin. You know, that, that kind of keeps uh, the bottle also clean. So you can always travel with this little thing with you. You see, so all of a sudden it's not that ugly after all, this little thing. I'm telling you, it's really good to have it because then this helps you avoid having so much dust particles in the liquid after a while. Yes, the circumcision perfume tutorials, darling. Um, Jasmine, I got the stick at the beauty boutique. The Chanel beauty boutique that sells the Les Exclusives, they also have these. They don't usually give them out because they're too, you know, bothered to take them out to do the whole thing. It's a lot of work. But I always ask, I'm like, hey, can you please give me the sticklet? And they give me the sticklet. So just saying. Oh, Dick of your skin flawless. Oh, Shop Queen, my love. Thank you so much. So, full review, hopefully coming soon. You know I always take my good time to live with a fragrance and dive into it, let it dive into me. It's an exchange of souls and poetry, and then when I'm good and ready, I deliver the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, never give up on love and subscribe.